Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruchah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. Um, I just wanted to read this article. Okay, um, it came out um, yesterday, April 1st. Says Fed's plan to uh, broadcast government propaganda to streaming platforms. All right, and this is coming from activistpost.com. Says NextGov recently reported that the Federal Communications Commission's FCC wants to have the ability to interrupt streaming platforms like YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, Spotify, and Pandora so they can broadcast government safety alerts per the 2021 national defense authorization act ndaa the fcc is investigating redefining parts of the national emergency alert system or the eas and wireless emergency alert system or weas including developing developing alerting requirements for online streaming platforms an emergency 9-11 act has been transformed into a 2021 privacy destroying act. The feds want the public's opinion on what they think about allowing government agents uh, access to what Americans are watching on streaming services. The commission issued a notif notice of inquiry this month and will publish an official request for public comment Tuesday in the federal registry to determine whether it would be technical, technically feasible for streaming services to complete each step that EA, EAS participates uh, participants complete under the commission's rule in ensuring the end-to-end -end transmission of EAS alerts, including monitoring for relative, relative relevant EAS alerts, receiving and processing EAS alerts, and retransmitting EAS alerts, presenting EAS alerts in an accessible manner to relevant, uh, relevant consumers and testing according to the notice inquiry. NextGov claims that the FCC has a lot of work to do because it needs to overcome redefining what constitutes a streaming service. As you will see, it really won't be much of a hurdle to overcome. Apparently, the feds want to use something similar to the third generation partnership pro uh, project, which will allow authorities to play synchronized media streams like audio and video streams in a continuous way while those streams are being transmitted to the client over a data network. Communication, communication matters of the 2021 NDAA gives the feds immense leeway to broadcast government propaganda to all social media platforms. Section 9201 allows the FCC, FCC to create a reliable emergency alert dis distribution improvement. Um, the new changes allow the president and the minister of the Federal Emergency Management uh, administration, or which is um, also known as FEMA, to issue government safety alerts. It also allows the government to create a state emergency communication committee, allowing state officials to issue local government warnings. Section 9201 allows the president to disseminate, notify, or alert the public of missile threats against the United States or threats of public safety whatever that might be. Where it starts to get interesting or disturbing, depending on your point of view, is Section 9201, Internet and Online Streaming Services Emergency Alert Examination. It appears that government officials are worried that people are tuning out of mass media and watching less, TV, watching less cable TV, thereby missing out on much of the government's versions of events. So how do they reach the people? By designing, by designing a new emergency alert system that can interrupt streaming platforms, of course. Study. No, not later than 180 days after the date of the enact, enactment of this act and 
After providing public notice and opportunity for comment, the commission shall complete the inquiry to examine the feasibility of updating the emergency alert system to enable or improve alerts to customers, consumers, Salakia, provided through the Internet, including through emergency systems. Giving government officials the ability to interrupt streaming services opens up a world of privacy concerns. Let's imagine a world, a worst case scenario. Let's say that a year from now you connect to the internet to have a web conference or text someone on the phone, or I'm adding this in doing a video, live streaming a camp, you know, live streaming a sit down. Okay. When all of a sudden you are interrupted by a government safety alert. Instead of being able to watch whatever you want, talk to whomever you want, or text with whomever you want, now you will have to worry that Big Brother is looking over your shoulder. If the feds can interrupt streaming services, one can assume that they could also have backdoor access to what Americans are watching in real time. All right? Backdoor access to what Americans are watching in real time. Those live streams that brothers have been doing and, you know, uh, uh, which have been very made very popular amongst the prophets in, in pushing out this word. As Americans enter the second year of the pan of the pandemic, our government thinks now is a great time to find out what people are watching and who they are texting. Yeah, because we're going we're entering into that time. Where, you know, Esau is, is making that, uh you know, that push, Revelation 12, verse 12. Okay? So, he's not going to let up the reins. He's going to tighten the reins. Okay? He, he um, as it is written, he had two horns like a lamb, but he spake as a dragon. Okay? So, it says, it, it's been 20 years since 9-11, and instead of rolling back government surveillance, the feds want to increase it. Yep. So... All in all, just wanted to bring this out just as a, uh, you know, public service announcement, uh, so to speak, that this is something that is uh, down, you know, in the pipeline that is not really, you know, being pushed in, um, you know, mainstream media. But we know that these devils, they do their, their, their things, you know, they pass these type of laws and, and legislations, you know, underneath underneath the rug. And next thing you know, you'll be doing a live stream and you'll just get interrupted. By a broadcasting, you know, uh, emergency alert broadcasting or whatever the government, governmental propaganda that they have now, you know, enabled to be, you know, be pushed on these streaming services. You know, ultimately, you know, going into um, that uh, famine of the word, which I'll get real quick and then we'll just close it out. Like I said, I just want to read that article just to bring this out to, the, you know, the sheep, uh, the book of Amos, chapter eight, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and they shall not find it. Okay? So, this is, you know goes into that man the fact that you know uh esau his government they're they're making a more of a, a push to have control over what people are watching um you know whether it be on the actual tv or now the pushes to, to for streaming platforms because that's the way of uh you know information being passed out now so you know in that there i put this link in the description if brothers want to you know read it for themselves or you know go a little bit further into it but you know, with that, call all your how about Shimel Shai, Bashim Rakhakudash, Shalom.